high school boys and girls are having a hop at the local soda fountain. Innocently, they dance. Innocent of a new and deadly menace lurking behind closed doors. Marijuana, the burning weed with its roots in hell. G'day you good motherfuckers, the Buttsman here, and yeah, I'm not in my normal place, calm the fuck down. I'm on the road, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing a national tour. I'm absolutely everywhere, I'm doing massive shows coming up in Newcastle, there's a big show in Sydney at the end, more theatre, oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's all happening and everywhere else. But this video right here may very well be the most controversial topic that I've ever discussed. Here, hey. destroying reefer they find a moment's pleasure but at a terrible price debauchery violence murder suicide and the ultimate end of the marijuana addict and i'd like to say straight off the bat that I don't have a horse in this race i don't smoke cannabis and you may agree or disagree with me but I'd like to hear your opinions down below. This is a discussion that we all need to have. Tobacco in America kills 480,000 people every year. Alcohol kills 80,000 people, and yet marijuana, which is illegal all over the world, kills no one. So why is it illegal in the first place? That answer may shock you, and why the fuck do you get locked in a cage for having it. Cannabis has been used by cultures throughout the world for many centuries. And if it wasn't cannabis, they were finding other ways to alter their consciousness through plants and different things that came from the ground. But it wasn't until the 1930s in America where they found a way to fuck it up for everybody just trying to relax and have a bit of a hit of a, a doobie. And there's two men to blame for what actually happened and the reason it is illegal, and that's Harry Anslinger and William Randolph Hearst. It was right after Prohibition had ended where they banned alcohol and Anslinger who was basically working for what the DEA is the Drug Enforcement Agency now he was basically out of a job so he needed something else to fight for and along comes Randolph Hearst. Now Randolph Hearst ran a paper mill he was bloody worth a fucking fortune all right and I'm gonna put these in layman's terms he had hoops of fucking cash and then all of a sudden this machine the decorticator came along and was gonna fuck up Williams big old paper mill. The decorticator could make paper out of hemp which would mean that Hearst's massive fields of fucking big old trees that he's going to turn into paper would be obsolete. So he used his power and Anslinger's power to criminalise hemp and, as a byproduct, marijuana. These two huge pieces of shit didn't just use greed, they also used some very sneaky racism to get this plant banned, criminalised. There's a quote from Anslinger which reads like this. There are 100,000 total marijuana smokers in the US. Most of these are Negroes, Hispanics, Filipinos and entertainers. Their satanic jazz and swing results from marijuana use. This marijuana causes white women to seek relations with Negroes. What a fucking anus this cockhead was. But now much of America is in fact in favour of legalisation and many states have legalised pot. In California, in LA for example, you can buy it absolutely anywhere. It's highly taxed and that tax goes to working on roads and hospitals and all that good shit. But it's not all good and there are risks associated with smoking this product. I think you should absolutely avoid it if you're under the age of 25 because your prefrontal cortex has not yet developed. It's not at that point where you can say, okay, I'm finally an adult and I don't need to use this growing brain of mine anymore. That is wrong with it. Also, it may exacerbate mental health problems, which is a reason why some people shouldn't use it at all. But also, some people shouldn't use fucking alcohol because they just go around king hitting people. Some people shouldn't smoke cigarettes because they've got a family history of lung cancer. A lot of different drugs are not appropriate for everybody. If you're driving, don't smoke it. If you're preggers, don't smoke it. If you're a fucking idiot, don't smoke it. But the fact that it's legal, particularly in Australia, is hilarious. And it's hilarious for one reason. Because I can easily go with my over 18's ID down to a bottle shop and buy enough piss to get me drunk enough to die. I can smoke as many cigarettes as I want 
and potentially die young of lung cancer, heart attacks, any of those different things because that drug is dangerous, so is alcohol and so is pot. But for some reason we're allowed to buy those drugs and pharmaceutical drugs. Pain pills are a drastic problem throughout the Western world. People are buying in the bucket loads a drug which has only a few chemical compounds off fucking heroin. The reason I made this video isn't to say, oh, we all should be able to do whatever we want. It, although we should be able to do whatever the fuck we want. We're all adult. But the reason I made this video is because I recently read on Reddit a lady who was purchasing cannabis oil to treat her chronic condition. And it was medical. It was all good through a pharmacy. She got a little bottle, a little 50 mil bottle that cost six hundred dollars. Now if you're an older lady who's got a chronic condition, a disease where you can't work because of your disease, you don't have 600 fucking bucks to use on your medication. That's fucked up. We should be able to buy this shit at our local pharmacy or down the local shops and get it for cheap because it fucking helps people. If smoking a plant or taking the oil improves somebody's quality of life, what the fuck do you care? But it's obvious one of the reasons that it remains illegal in places like Australia, we have far too much power given to the pharmaceutical drug industry. These people who are making absolute billions from keeping people sick every single year are pushing down legislation, keeping it away from passing through parliament to allow the legalization of marijuana because anyone can really grow it. It takes away from their bottom line. It makes sense from a business point of view, but from a human point of view, they sound like absolute fuckheads. And it's not just the drug industry, in fact the American Prison Guard Union, they pushed back legislation over in the States because they knew they would lose jobs from prison guards because so many were people were in jail because of marijuana. And that makes sense as well, but it also makes them sound like cunts. Sure you want to keep your job, but at what cost? I could go on about all the benefits of just smoking pot and relaxing and calming people down. But the big one for me isn't even the THC. It isn't the psychoactive compound, it's the CBD oil. CBD is an oil that comes from the marijuana plant. It has no THC, it is not psychoactive. And CBD is something that I have used in the past and purchased, well, no, I haven't used it. A friend of mine who I've never spoken to and I don't agree with their opinions or anything they do in their life has purchased it illegally from overseas. It definitely wasn't me. But that person had a very similar condition to me with epilepsy. They used it and it treated their symptoms. But unfortunately that friend who travels around the world doing comedy, definitely not me, can't take it on planes so he can't take it around. So now that friend, who's definitely not me, is using pharmaceutical drugs to treat the epileptic condition. I'll just quickly show you some examples of what CBD oil can do. This is an old man with Parkinson's disease. And the best way to take it is put it under your tongue and rub it in your cheek. It works most of the time. It's like this. Uh, <laughs> did you guys see lunch? All from an oil with no side effects. You could drink the whole bottle and all you're gonna do is just go to sleep. CBD oil is something that can help absolutely everybody with stress, anxiety, all those different types of things. Inflammation, it helps athletes. And yet, you can't buy it. So here's the thing. This is a direct message to the Australian government. Stop fucking worrying about pharmaceutical companies fucking pockets and worry about your people you fucking cocksuckers all right anyway be a good motherfucker peace in the middle east me dick peace in the middle east me dick stinks and it's not even there but that's all right uh, and i'll see you all very soon toodaloo au revoir bye